can take a whiff. Well, thank you, Omar. Uh, Omar is a project lead on our networking project along with Scott Emery. Uh, he's been involved with the foundation uh, from very early on, and we thank, we thank Omar uh, for all the work and, and that he does with that group. Uh, all of our projects are managed by our community director, and uh, we, had, uh, we have a new community director this year. She joined the foundation team 10 months ago. Uh, please welcome Archna Haylock. Good morning, everyone. Are we having fun? Yeah. One more time, I can't hear you. <laughs> As you've heard from Rocky, from Mark, from Bill, OCP has undergone an amazing transformation since we all met here last um, March. I was sitting in the audience last year, and it feels so surreal to be up here on stage and part of this amazing community. We've grown from a foundation perspective. Our reach now spans the globe. And you've heard all about our impact this morning. It's, it truly is extraordinary. So I wanted to take a few minutes and talk about contributions. You've heard about contributions from all of our speakers. You've heard about them from Bill. We started OCP with traditional contributions. They came from Facebook. They came from the community. They came from all of you. Those specifications and design files brought our community together, they bonded our community. Last year, OCP introduced a product recognition program. What this did was our suppliers were now using those specifications and designs and using the products and were coming to us looking for some way to recognize their contribution. So the product recognition program allowed us to validate that the products were actually based on OCP-approved specs, and we gave them a certification mark based on their openness. OCP-inspired for those where they were inspired on an OCP spec. The design files were closed, but the product was still based on OCP-approved uh, specifications. OCP is accepted for those products that were completely open. The design files, the products, the specifications were all open for you to see and are visible on our marketplace. This year, what we learned is open hardware was being used across all of your infrastructures, within your own ecosystems. And our community wants to hear about those experiences that you've had. They want to hear about the subject matter expertise that you're um, learning and utilizing in your own ecosystems. So what we decided to do was expand our contribution structure. We realized that we needed to think out of the box. We needed reference architectures that are being used out there. We needed tested configurations that are being used out there white papers, case studies, embedded software. All those things together make up the entire ecosystem, and this is what the community is all about. You learn, you share, we learn, we share. That's what our new contribution structure now is. It's very comprehensive. So I invite you, I challenge you as your community director to share that learning expertise with us to come out here and sh share what you've learned, what products you're using in your ecosystem, how you've overcome the challenges of traditional hardware versus open hardware, how you're utilizing open software, and how you're util utilizing embedded software in your system, and share it with the community. That's what OCP is all about. Another transformation, and you've heard about all of these transformations this morning, that I want to bring to your attention also has to do with contributions. OCP requires and relies on your contributions as you become members. 
And you might be thinking to yourself, what does it mean to contribute to OCP? The how the foundation can help you with. Our website details the process, and the foundation staff is here in the OCP lounge to help you figure out how to contribute. The why you've heard about this morning. It's the what that I want to talk to you about, because that's what's most important to you. It's your IP. When you contribute to OCP, you are not assigning IP to OCP. You are not losing ownership of your specifications, of your design files, of your products. What you are doing is signing a simple contribution license agreement and allowing us copyright license, and you're agreeing to a patent on a cert, which means the IP still belongs to you. It's complete transparency in our process, in our contributions, in our community. So my call to action is simply three things. Collaborate. You've, you're going to be here for two days. Learn from each other. Listen, share, and talk about it. Contribute. As you go back into your day jobs, into your you know, infrastructure, think about contributing to open hardware. And third, as you look at your infrastructure and your ecosystems, think about using open hardware in that ecosystem. I'm here, and the staff is here. We're all here to help you. Our volunteer leadership is all here. We're all part of the community, and we really want to see more participation. So please, get involved. With that, I want to announce our next speaker. Our next speaker believes firmly in the concept of a sandbox. He's created various initiatives in healthcare, in education, in energy, in energy across many platforms, public and private, corporate and government. He believes that a sandbox opens up all the access to allow organizations to merge, to mash up, to try, to fail fast, and to try again. His words, not ours. And that's the concept and the basic premise of open compute. He's demonstrated this by creating the very first open source textbook in the country. He created a state-funded venture capital fund. And he created a testing methodology which allows governments to sample new technologies before they make the commitment to invest. He is our nation's first chief technology officer under President Obama. He's the president also of Care Journey, which is an open source intelligence service. He firmly believes and promotes the concept that government is an enabler, not a solution provider. And we at OCP share in that philosophy. We are enablers. We are not solution providers. We rely heavily on the ecosystem of our contributors, of our adopters, our suppliers, and our solution providers. Please join me in welcoming technologist, innovator, public servant, and open community champion, Anish Chopra. Thank you very much. Of 